to see you grow. I want to see you more than a conqueror. I want you to get out there and be a, a powerhouse for God. Amen. There's frailties and there's shortcomings that we have. Yes, but you can get through them. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. But you have to you have to give him effort. You gotta give effort to it. You gotta to study to show yourself approved. You gotta know his word and you gotta apply it because his his, his word is uh, is truth and his oath and his promises are truth and he cannot lie. Um hallelujah. Everybody bow your hands, reach your hands towards these kids. Hey kids, look at those people. Don't they need Jesus? Put your hands towards those people and pray for them. Hallelujah. Father God, we thank you so much for this opportunity. Lord God, to invite you into these children's lives, God. Lord, I pray a blessing over them, Lord, that your face shine upon them, Lord God. That they be first and not last, Lord God. Hallelujah, that you surround them, Lord, that you go before them and you be behind them. Holy Spirit, and, and camp all the way around them, God. Father, we ask a release of your angels, Lord God, upon their lives, Lord, in their schools, in their homes, Lord God, in their travels in town, in their recre recreational activities, Lord God. I thank you for blessing them, Lord. Father, I thank you for salvations, Lord God. I thank you for that you're going to fill them with your spirit, Lord God. I pray they grab hold of your word, Lord Jesus. And I pray be excited to them and they go hard after you, Lord God, with a deep desire for the things of God. Thank you for what you're doing. I pray for their family, that you bless their parents, Lord God. Fill them with wisdom and knowledge and love for you, Lord God. That they model an example of how you want them to live for you, God. Thank you, God, for being glorified in their homes. In Jesus' name. Amen. You know, if you pray for your parents, they'll be better parents. Amen. If you pray for your children, they'll be better children. If you pray for your grandparents, it'll be good. Have faith in your prayers. Don't pray if you don't have faith. Why open your mouth and just open your mouth? Open your mouth if you mean something. Say what you mean. Come on. Can I hear an amen? amen. And you know, today, Today is a new era. Amen. 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 It's a new era Woo! for Alaska. Yes. Here in Alaska, we love people, yes. but this is a warring state. Yes. It's full of warriors. Yes. Yes. Amen. We take the giant's head off. Yes. Because we're in covenant with him. Amen. But we need to bring the resources to the house. So, Father, I just come before you this morning, just expressing our love for you. Expressing that we know we can't do anything without you, God. Right now, we position ourselves just like an eagle, and we abide in you this morning, God. And, Lord, we thank you for this opportunity to bless these missions, Lord God. And I ask right now, God, that there will be a multiplication of what we give today, Lord God. That every need will be met, God, of these missions, Lord God, and of our church, Lord God. We love you, we praise you, and we thank you for blessing us. And God, we're not going to be one of those people that's doing everything but tithing. But we're going to tithe because it's our first fruit. And everybody in the house of God said, Amen. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you today for your presence. We thank you for your word because your word is powerful. Hide it in our heart that we might not sin against you. Father, speak to your people today. Open the ears, Father God, of those that need to hear. Father, I pray there would be a quickening. There would be an excitement, Lord, that would stir your people today in knowing that, God, that we can have confidence when you are on our side. We love you, Father, and we give you praise. There is none like you, and we celebrate you today, and we honor you. I cannot wait, oh God, to walk on the streets of gold. I cannot wait, oh God, to smell the fragrance of heaven and see my master's face. I cannot wait, oh God, to see my loved ones that have gone before me, that they said, we prayed for you. We prayed that you would make it. And oh, it's such a happy celebration. I pray, oh God, from generation to generation to generation, that oh God, that your presence would fill our, our people and our, our children and our grandchildren, Lord. Let them know that, that they can have find strength in you, that they can have hope in you, no matter the storm, God, as long as you're in the boat. Father, as long as you're with
with us. We can write it out with Father God with victory in the name of Jesus. And everyone said, Amen. So, so let's just go to the Lord in prayer. Hallelujah, Almighty God. Oh, Father God, you are awesome, Lord God. We lift you up. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you power and praise, God. You are high lifted up, God. You are King of kings and Lord of lords. Father, there is none like you. You are the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. Lord, you are my all in all, Lord God. You are everything to me, Lord God. You created me in your image, Lord God, and you are moved. And I live and I have my being, Father. Lord, you gave me the breath of life, Lord. You breathed into me, Lord Jesus. Thank you, God, for that, Lord God. Without you, I am nothing, Lord God. Without you, I am nothing, Lord God. Without you, I am nothing, Lord God. Hallelujah. I thank you, Father, for providing, Lord God, clothes and food, Lord God, housing, Lord God. Thank you for, for providing a family, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord God, for your goodness and your mercy, Lord God, that you show every day, that your mercy that you show every morning, Lord God. Thank you, Father, that, that while I was yet in my sins, Lord, you died for me, Lord God. You hung the cross and my life was on your heart, Lord God. Thank you for that, Lord God. Thank you for loving me above everything, Lord God. I need it, Lord God. I need it, Lord God. I need it more than anything else in this life, Lord. Thank you, Father. And Lord, we invite you in this place, Lord God. Lord, we invite you into our hearts, Lord God. We invite you into our minds, Lord God. We invite you into our lives, Lord God. Father, fill us today, Lord God. Fill this place, Lord God. Renew our minds. Transition us to another place, Lord God, where we need to be, where you see us, Lord God. Get us there, Lord God. Take us there, God. Get us where you see us, Father. In Jesus' name, Lord, I pray you're anointed upon the, the worship, Lord God. I pray you're anointed upon the preaching, Lord God. Father, soften our hearts to receive your word, Lord. Speak to us, Lord God. We need a word from you. Change us, Lord God. Let us be. Let's be mature enough to, to receive your meat, Lord God, and take it in, Lord God, and digest it, Lord God. Father, speak to us, God, today in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, we're gonna we're gonna learn something today. So I need you to put your spiritual hearing hearing on. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit has to say to the church. Turn down the volume of the world and of your flesh and all the troubles and all the problems that you might be walking through and turn up the volume of the Spirit and say, Father, feed my spirit because I know that when I hear your voice of God, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Father, pour down your presence from heaven even now, oh God, and let me plug in to the power of God today. Yeah. Amen. Oh, how he talks with me. You know, sometimes we feel forgotten, but I'm here to tell you, he knows your name. He will never forget your name. Your name is engraved on his hand. And you know what? He is our example. He is a giver. Our father is a giver. He gave his son. He gave his son. You will never outgive God. Amen. So, Father, I come before you this morning thanking you and praising you for who you are. Hallelujah. God, I thank you, God, that you are supplying all of our needs just like you said you would, Lord God. You said that those who walk uprightly, that we will see your goodness in the land of the living. And, Father, those of us who have possessions, we know only you have given to us, Lord God, but they still belong to you, Lord God. We worship you and we thank you for this opportunity, God, to give into this church and to give into these missions. And I just say today, you are welcome in this place. And everybody said, Amen. Amen.